And we're back. Hello, everyone. For Kanban. Yes, the EV edition. Electronic, electric vehicle edition. Yes. Yeah. All right. So, uh, links down below for the overview and extended playthrough as well as the original Kanban because this is a Kickstarter version. Again, uh, designed by Vital Serta and uh, designed by none other than Ian O'Toole. Names do not do not exist at this hour. Yeah, it's it's uh, difficult. Um, all right. So, just as a reminder, uh, uh, Kanban the board game is pretty much the same. So, I don't think we're going to change our thoughts on the base game. We can cover them. Uh, we can um, just do that super briefly. Yeah. And then we have the components and the um, expansion, the speed charger expansion, as well as some uh, minor tweaks um, like... Um, you mean Sandra being the default? Yeah, there are changes to the rules that we could mention from the base game, which I think theoretically you could implement with your base game. It's just, you know, nothing uh, in, um, too uh, extravagant. Um, so let's just mention them. The changes in this edition is that uh, you can no longer replace cars in your garage with new ones. Mm -hmm. uh, when Sandra penalizes you, you now lose one point in addition to any points uh, lost right. because of the thing. Before. Yeah, you're just above and that's it. Yeah. Although one point is not a, a lot. In the nice Sandra variant, which is now a variant, the mm -hmm. base game says play with mean Sandra. The nice Sandra variant, you're only rewarded points for bank shifts you have over five instead of for all of your bank shifts. Mm -hmm. And there are five new final goal tiles to choose during setup, which is, isn't uh, uh, really that of a different. I like I her art much, yeah. much better. Yeah. Much, much better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much it. Thoughts on art and components. Uh, Ion Utu does a fantastic job, yeah. and this is no exception. I, I do think that there's more dead space on the board than usual. Here? Like here and here, and this this could have been a bit smaller if we have to be honest without compromising anything. Mm. Like, and, and, and. that being said, uh, the game looks great. I love the colors, everything that should pop. Pops. Yeah, think about how many colors you needed to come up with in the color palette. I mean, there are player car colors, car colors, corporate colors. The, these tiles need to convey two colors at once. I do think that the black and the gray... Yeah, the black and the gray. Yeah. ...are a bit confusing, which is a very... Yeah, it took me a time to find it, which is a very atypical. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't matter. You play it once, you'll get used to it. Yeah. The tokens are really fun, especially the absurd ones like the books. Yeah. Like, this is completely over the top, and I love it. Yeah. So I think uh, I agree. I th um, you know, the fact that all of the actions are printed on the board is excellent. And I don't remember that on, in the base game, but maybe I'm wrong. The only pad piv is that the um, training tracks are reverse or mirrored so this goes from here to here this one goes from here to here and it's really easy to mess that up i yeah, wish you did it... mess that up when we played yeah but uh i think you'll get used to it in one playthrough it's really not a big deal because yeah. you kind of spread from the center yeah as opposed to the other one where you'd spread from top to bottom yeah and uh yeah iconography wise it's excellent i think things are clear once you get the hang of the difference between upgraded and this Design. makes so much more sense yeah, compared to the chairs. Yeah, yeah. The chairs were awful. Like, thematically, the chairs were... It, it, they didn't click as well as, oh, you can talk now. Yeah. That was also, cute. Yeah, and also, uh, it, they were the chairs in the original one were very fiddly. You had to put them in specific spots, and it wasn't... And here, you just get a chunky component, yeah, and you just nice. replace it. So that's much, much easier. Mm -hmm. um, so that's good. Yeah. Uh, in terms of the expansion, any thoughts on the expansion? Uh, it's, we didn't play much with the expansion, so yeah. I don't have anything deep to say. Uh, the first time we played it, I felt it's not that good. Mm -hmm. But I think we, when we played it, we didn't score it at all. Mm -hmm. 
I think we definitely played it wrong. And as you can see, I, I utilized it. Yeah. I utilized it hard. Like yeah. I went to administration any any time. The fact that it costs you nothing except one shift is uh, pretty insane. I think that in two players, if you can monopolize on it, you get a lot of points. In four players, it'll be very, very difficult to mm. monopolize on. Mm. So Yeah, that may be true. Because admin is free up. You're yeah. right. It is interesting. You waste turn in order to get a passive. And most of these passive, with the exception of admin, yeah. are really weak. Mm -hmm. Like they're very situational. Mm -hmm. But they might be the difference between getting a car or not getting a car. So yeah. I, I think it, it flows well with the game. It's not mandatory, but it flows really well. And if you're an experienced player, definitely give it a try. Yeah. There, yeah, I also like the expansion. I think we haven't uh, really analyzed, like we haven't experienced it yet. Mm -hmm. uh, but I do like, um, like I say in almost all reviews, special abilities mm -hmm. um, that I can choose from. So that's so that's cool. And I also want to mention that uh, just to create more, you know, uh, interest, uh, the game comes with a couple of variants. So the first one is. Uh, there's a weaker version of these so that you don't feel so overpowered. And then there's another variant in which you choose the order of these and when you place cards you have to place them from left to right. Mm -hmm. um, so that's another sort of restriction that you can put on yourself if you're feeling that you've uh, sort of explored the deep end of, of Kanban, which I, I don't think is possible. Um, and there's also this expansion or this uh, little variant which we talk about which allows you to choose one of your locked um, garages benefits, right? Um, yeah, and Arden component is excellent. The cars are lovely. Everything has character to it. The iconography, I feel like, was a brain burnery project to come up with the, you know, the various icons for various things in the game because they they do have a lot of um, uh, a lot of yeah, um, some options. missions right? are for. Upgrades, some missions are for tested upgrades, and the, there's a lot. Yeah, there's there a lot. There really is a lot here. Yeah. Yep. Um, all right. So I believe. Uh, will you want to cover yeah. the base review? Do you remember what we said? I don't remember what we said. I very much like Kanban. I mean, it. Uh, it's one of your favorites. It's yes. one of my favorites because I think that I like building stuff. Like, I like the feeling of. Hey, let's build, let's literally get those cars pushed out of the conveyor belt. Let's pick them up. Let's uh, upgrade them. Uh, there is the, um, you know, the market and, and, and the shared value of stuff that we, you, you could push together or you can see someone pushing uh, a certain component up in value and you could join them. Um, and I very much like this scoring opportunity mechanism. It's really smart, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, because you have control over it, but not too much. Yeah, and I don't feel like I'm rushing for speech tokens. Like, I don't think that it, it... I mean, sometimes it could happen. I mean, especially when here you have control over whether you'll get a speech token or not. And they are very important. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, so, very, very highly recommended. I don't I don't know. We, I haven't ever, I think, ranked Vital Assertus games from my standpoint. I think... Think. Oh, we don't have to get into it now, honey. It's late. Yeah, no. I mean, on Mars is easily the first one, right? But uh, uh, yeah, it's it's you know, it's a it's a very good uh, sort of game, definitely. It's a fantastic game. Yeah. Uh, for me personally, it took a while to click. I thought it was his driest game. But the more I played it, the more I learned to appreciate the delicate balancing. Like, there, there, there are tiny details that are really nice. Like, you need these two, and these are the most randomized, mm -hmm. in order to activate this, yeah. so you can activate this. And this joint market is completely opportunistic till you get to the last rounds, and then you're like, wow, this is massive points. Now I can start planning it. So, very smartly designed. I like it. Not as much as Gallerist in Lisboa, if I have to be honest. Mm. But I really like it. Great, great, great game. And this is a great addition. 
it is a brain burner. It's a heavy game. Like it's I I can't really rank them on heaviness to mm -hmm. certain games, but it's mm -hmm. it's very 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 heavy compared to other games. So uh, come prepared with a lot of patience because it it is what it is mm -hmm. and, it, and does it fantastically. Love the meetings. Mm -hmm, yeah. And I really like the new art mm -hmm. of the meetings. Yeah. I thought that the previous one was too busy for what it's supposed to convey. Mm -hmm. Like there were a lot of colors in the room and the tables and the chairs and the stuff. And this one's just yeah. clean and pretty. Mm -hmm. So yeah, fantastic. Yeah, all right. Highly recommend. Yep. Though I, I wouldn't go out of my way to get... The, the EV Kickstarter? version. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's no need. The additions aren't that big of a deal. Yeah. Like if if you're low on a budget, just wait till everyone gets their Kickstarter editions and uh, get it secondhand. It's still a fantastic game. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we hope you enjoyed this uh, review. Again, links down below for um, other Kanban videos. Yeah, the original series and the first round and the extended playthrough mm -hmm. and stay safe and we'll see you next time bye, bye.